Word of God welcomes all of our first and second time guests. We are so glad that you chose to join us today. Please be sure to complete our guest connection and prayer cards and place it in the basket during offering. Then visit our guest relations table after the service to receive a gift from us to say thanks. Our trip to see Samson is almost here. All those who are attending must meet at the church by 6.45 a.m. on June 23rd. The bus will leave at 7.30 a.m. promptly. Our first stop will be shopping at Tangier's Outlets, then lunch at Eden Resort, all leading up to the play. Please be on time. Word of God is not responsible for lateness on either end. The Summer of Outreach 2016 is underway. Word of God will be in the streets all summer long, bringing the Word of God to the community. SWAT and church-wide outreach events are as follows. June 25th, Neighborhood Cleanup. July 2nd, AFRAM. July 16th, Artscape. July 30th and August 20th, Free Car Wash. August 28th, Back to School Backpack Giveaway. For more information on how you can get involved, email outreach at wogbaltimore.org. Small groups is a form of outreach as well. We encourage each member to join a group for the summer session and invite friends and family to plug in. These groups are bringing people closer to God, building relationships, and changing lives. Rob is a new member of Word of God, and last session was his first time joining the group. Listen to his experience. I enjoy being in groups. I'm a people person, but I couldn't have picked a better group, I tell you that. Um, the family and the friends that I've collected in that group at that time being together was an awesome experience. It helps you be able to be transparent with one another, and for somebody to trust you enough to let their walls down, it helps you with doing the same thing. So it was a lot of healing going on in that group to the point to where we uh, had to do a tissue ministry because we were dropping a lot of tears in this group, but it was very helpful and we remained that way since. I haven't lost anybody, we all keep in contact. We make sure everybody's okay. So I, I gathered a lot of knowledge, but I, I gathered a lot of family also. Um, okay, well, uh, well, my birthday, um, well, my birthday month, March 1st, I decided to put down cigarettes. I figured it was time for me to live healthier, try to do better as far as living and just being a healthier person. And I know cigarettes is a bad thing to do, so I use that as an excuse to push myself. But what happened was when I did that and we were doing a group, the group was very supportive. They recognized my time of not smoking. They were asking me, so how many days a day? And uh, so how you feel? Is everything going okay? They even went as far as to give me a congratulation card signed by everybody saying how proud they were of me for stop smoking cigarettes. And I've stopped, tried to stop several times, but this time having this group made it a lot easier. It was awesome. Eighty-five days, I'm getting close to 90 days. So I'm doing good and everybody's still being supportive and still right there, so it's an awesome experience. Don't go in with any expectations. Don't go in with anything hindering you from being who you are. Bring to the group who you are and accept the people that's in your group for who they are. And at the end, because you're focusing on something like God, you're gonna come together. Those type of people, they, God brings people together for a reason. So I believe these groups are for a reason. You're gonna have an awesome experience. Just don't put any pressure on yourself. Go to the group and look towards God and you're gonna be fine. There will be a small groups fair next Sunday for members and guests to learn more about each group, register, and purchase books. Group hosts will be standing by to answer any questions you may have after both 8 and 11 a.m. services. Have a blessed day.